people at home can do is just like unfollow people who don't add anything to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, like that's why like, why are you continuously following someone that's going to make you feel shit every time you yeah. watch it? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because yeah. at the end of the day, they're meant to make you feel like okay, motivated enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, All right, mm-hmm. this guy's doing this. I should feel motivated. I'm gonna do this as well. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel like, oh shit, this guy's done this and I'm nowhere, I feel like you should just unfollow them and yeah. just focus on yourself. Yeah, and I'm not saying to but just follow know. like motivational guru pages. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, please don't do that because then you're going to go the other way. Yeah. You're going to switch this like one magazine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I would probably say, listen, just follow people who are real. Follow balance, follow balance. people who are blunt. Yeah. Follow follow people in your circle that give that you, you constructive mm-hmm. criticism. Like wanted to go back to beauty standards and how you guys felt. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> well, at some point actually, you know what I've struggled with? I think you can relate in it. Growing up as a black girl. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like we're not pretty as a black girl, you just don't feel yeah. pretty. Like, especially I used to feel like this in high school. Boys would look at me and be like, Your nose is big. Or you got your eyes are eyes. too big, or you got like a, like back in the day, big bums was a the thing. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, big bums is a thing. Big yeah. Lips. Do you know it's what I mean? Trend, it's it's trend. Trend. Curly yeah. hair was really mm-hmm. bad. Like, curly I hair was how attractive. I didn't know how sudden. I didn't even know I had curly hair until I was like <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> like my hair was always permed or straight in. So I didn't yeah. know, and it's actually mad because obviously back then straight, having straight hair, you know, looking white basically was like, considered pretty. Yeah. Yeah, Lo- Loki. I actually wanted to touch upon that myself because uh, obviously, like, I'm fairly tanned, isn't it? Yeah, I'm fairly tanned. I know I'm not saying you brown and go. I plan to say that, all right? But, like, obviously, like, I'm on the darker side, and, like, in some circumstances, I would see myself and I'd be like, okay, if I'm on the Nintendo Wii, I'm gonna make my character a shade lighter than what I oh am so I could feel yeah. good oh, some way. Yeah, and I didn't know I was doing it for that reason. Yeah, Back in the day, I was just like, oh, yeah, let me just read that one. Like, yeah. 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 Even, even iMessages, yeah. like, my character's lighter than me. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, it happened to me, so... Um, I was, I think I was 15 or 16 when I had like, you know, Bitmoji was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And like, we did not know, like, we have to like, keep our Bitmoji mm. same to our color, innit? Mm. So mine was lighter than me. Someone actually corrected me, like, you know your Bitmoji is lighter than you and you're not at, like, as light as this. <laughs> oh. I was like, bloody hell. <laughs> I was like, I need to go and change yeah, it. No. That's how it's mm. to me, I had to go to shade stock. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was too as well. I, I was crying whilst changing. I was like, I was like, I'm not that dark. No, but, it wasn't no, but do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that sentence itself, I'm not that dark, is literally pushed into, yeah. like, our process. Yeah, our system. Mm-hmm. You know, our system. Right? And it's yeah. from, like, yeah, literally. have you ever watched a Disney movie? Yeah, yeah. I've watched plenty. No. Do you know what I mean? Like the Disney princesses and shit, like it starts from that for you for you guys, yeah, I guess, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like you <laughs> didn't have any black res- the, representation yeah. until yeah. like what? Yeah. Like until like the last you know, five years? Uh, Princess and the Frog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Until that one came out. Yeah. I think yeah. Princess Jasmine was like the closest back in yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah. And even but that wasn't like she's a, she's a lighter version of it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. And then I, I feel like she Moana as well, a bit close. Yeah. There's more culture, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah now. Even Black Barbie or Black Dolls, it was not a thing. Like, yeah. you had a white doll, you, you did not have a doll at all. That was it. Mm. But it's sad, it's sad to see that, like, you know, it kind of has to be a trend first. Yeah. Before yeah. it can be established into society, mm-hmm. and when it when uh, going for black girls was a trend. Oh yeah. That, oh, it it felt oh. a little bit disgusting to be in that time. <coughs> yeah, yeah. You know? oh, it's still going on. Like, I think it's still going on. Go, 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 go on Tinder. Go on What people do when they compare us to food. I like oh, my yes. chocolate girls. I, I, I've I been like called honey, caramel. I, I've had it. You, like, you know, people actually think they're slick when they do that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not nice. nice. It's like you're disgusted. Yeah, it's not nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I've had guys come to me and say, um, I can't wait to have light screen babies. <laughs> Is that a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's not nice at all. The experiences that we have, man, is actually man. I've been working on an article yeah. about my experiences as a black woman dating um and like using um dating apps because you know it's white men um you know it's mainly for white men basically and yeah. white women but mainly white men um and like just my experience you know and comments i've been made that are meant to be compliments but really are like a backhanded 
you know, kind of insult kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's actually mad. Even with the dating apps, like before, like I got into a relationship, mm -hmm. I kind of realized that um, white girls kind of have a lot of options. Yeah, like, you get the Spanish boys, the white, but like and, everything. And, and it's also we get the black and, boys, like the road men. You just see just the road men on there. There's not there the, are mainly black the, men on black there. Men, and the ones like, that the Yeah, and then it's just mainly white boys, and the white yeah. boys will come use the. Compliment stuff, um, you know, technically insults, yeah, and then they'll use it for sex, and they will say, oh, "Is your hair real?" Like, yeah, uh, I've had, I've had a lot of white guys come to me and be like, "I'm not ready for a relationship yet. Let's have sex." I heard that black girls are good in bed, yeah, all that kind of <laughs> shit. Oh and then, gosh. and then, like a month later, from you know things ending. They'll end up with a white ass girlfriend, new eyes, blonde hair. I'm here like, so I was not good enough. You're not want a girlfriend with you. <laughs> it hurts, but you know what? It's all right. No, it's kind of bitter, you know. Mm. It like, is. It's, it, it happens. There's a so bit of taste really in my well. mouth, and you were the one who's saying this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it it happens all the time. It I can see it definitely does stem partially because you know that there's prejudice there, and there's also yeah. like fetishization yeah. and, and the way that media, like media this when I said that shit, yeah. so I said it real slow. But yeah, and also the way and media um, portrays black women as well, like we're very loud. Yeah, we are, we are, yeah. we have yeah. attitudes when mm -hmm. we're trying to express our feelings. Mm -hmm. um, and also there are like musicians like Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj that also don't help um, with the image of black girls. Obviously, like you should be part of your body, you should be able to talk about sex. And things like that openly but at the same time they also bring a negative light to it yeah. to black women like we're just all about sex mm -hmm. all we know is you know being loud being ratchet so it's it's, it's a bit of a two-way kind of thing mm -hmm. it's peak like, because you know low-key they go into the music industry knowing these things yeah, yeah. They, they like megan the stallion doesn't look at the music industry and is like i'm gonna wow people because my music is amazing. And, yeah. And my lyrics is good. It's and not like yeah, exactly. She's it, not like a great lyricist. She yeah, just knows yeah. how to talk about sex. But right? it, 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 like, it's actually funny because the way music has changed. Because back in the day, R&B, they were talking about love. Yeah, yeah. Love, and you know, you know what I mean? Yo, and like, the music videos back in the day is yeah. slapped. And, yeah. you know, awesome. and now it's just whack. It's vagina. It's, it's sex. It's trapping a man. Like, it's, you have seen a lot of men right there and there. Like... And then black women no, suffer because of that, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. oh, you, you have white boys coming, you have black boys coming. You can literally <laughs> you can see, see that as well. Yeah, like, yeah, this is one is dick. You know, yeah, yeah. You know dick. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, mostly like, right now, music is all about like... Sex, and that's yeah. Like, you know, but it's yeah. influencing the younger generation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to like, younger people like, trying to talk to yeah. you. Yeah. They're going to stereotype like, they come, people. They come to you and like, let's have sex. It's not a relationship on a date, do you know what I mean? It's not it's relationship, it's sex, 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 yeah. and sex is so overrated. It's so overrated because it's always the ones that will come to you and be like, let's have sex for sex, 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 sex. <laughs> but they don't last for five minutes. <laughs> Do not be hitting the G-spot. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Oh, 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 I'm on <laughs> oh, No, but like, she's definitely saying the sentiments of like, fuck shit, those girls, bro, out there. Yeah. Because yo, I think um, a man is proud of himself when he lasts more than ten minutes nowadays. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I mean, like, <laughs> no talking about, no talking about. I thought, I'm not. I'm not saying like you should be beaten for four hours. You know, yeah. I don't want no yeah, 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 thing after you've been in sugar for that long. You know, like, you're gonna like, get diabetes or something. Like, you know? men, <laughs> yeah, men will like last for fifteen minutes and they're like, oh my, god, I did great. We can go for three more rounds and that. It's like, have you hit the girl's juice spot? Did she come? You come, but the cheek comes. Yeah. 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 That's not an achievement. Yeah, it's it's not like an achievement. You know, if it does not come, you do not do shit. You know no, what it is no. now. You know what it is now. Men <laughs> always put their pleasures before us. Ah, uh, they forget that. Four play, also, four play doesn't exist. It, it doesn't exist. It's like, like they're like eat ass, they're like pussy. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Oh, like a lot of men would expect head but when it comes to giving head to a woman i don't do that shit unless you be my girlfriend but am i am i your girlfriend no 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 listen am i your girlfriend i want to talk about that specific thing in the conversation oh this all right i feel like i feel like with the head thing it's 100 percent true that a lot of guys who i was growing up with like in the circles that were numb when I was 17, even when we were in like, what do you call it, secondary school? Yeah. Secondary yeah. school. <laughs> secondary. Just in high school, school. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, 
we used to tell our boys, yeah, I never, I never lick that. I never lick pum pum. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do this. But they want that. That's the thing. They want no, to Obviously, they want that. And if you, if you put yourself in the mind of a female for a second, then you'll be able to see that. It's because of the rappers as well, and like they be telling like, I don't do this kind of thing. Yo, honestly. You know what I mean? Again, music industry, like, has a lot of people. It does. It plays like, yeah, because yeah. you feel like, oh shit, this guy isn't doing that, so why should I kind of thing? And then you do it, but you don't tell it to your circle. Yeah. Because mm. it's like, oh, you might be embarrassed kind of thing, you know? Oh, yo, I used to hide the fact that I did it. Well, oh, not, so you eat ah, ah, yeah. There's no one to hide, guys. It's even the same. Haram. Messi is 100% haram. No. Look actually, at him now. <laughs> There's nothing to hide, it's actually like an achievement. Listen, you were digging pumpkin. Hey! Hey! Bro, bro, bro. That's what I wanted. No, but I feel like that's definitely an issue that women need to speak louder about. It's just that the fact that we speak, men but always put their pleasures before. We us. speak, but you know what um, some men say? You make a noise. <laughs> Unless it's a noise. <laughs> so, I don't know, I think there's like two categories of men in it. It's yeah, like, that, that, that's it's like self. seventy that's seventy percent of the men yeah, are that. probably falling in the category that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Third, like ten, just ten percent, I would say, mm. do it and but, are open about it. But those are the gems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. No, but they're, they're open. About it. That's why it's like ten percent. Thank and you. Twenty percent <laughs> are people who do it and they and say I nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just like like would I ever like. Say in any other case and scenario that I would like to be a shade lighter, or I did like to be a shade lighter when mm -hmm. I was like 15, 16. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. probably not, but I have a podcast now, so yeah, <laughs> in it, I mean, like, that's true. That's true. I've not grown up actually considered bleaching my skin, yeah, same. Mm -hmm. It was actually, yeah. I'm too come to me like, why are you so dark? Yeah, why are you so um, dark? Don't say this song for too long. Yeah. I'm like, are you racist or what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Or oh, your nose is too big. I, I know you're like a good, yeah. surgeon, you know, like a good plastic surgeon. I can, your hair's too kinky, it's Wait, too curly. You know what, yeah? I feel like it's You're the same way the other round is like, <laughs> like, you see how, like, people with light shades, they want to get tanned. It's, yeah, yeah, it's the same yeah, thing. Like, everyone wants to need that. Because yeah. right, right now, we're in a season where white people are saying, I'm as dark as you now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's the same yes. color. It's the same color. You know, you see some true, people so and true. they just get their fake tan and you can clearly see it's a fake oh, tan. Oh, even now, you see white boys have, getting fake tans. Now we have like six or seven apps that are deemed essential, and then and you can't. Yeah, you and then back in the day, you, 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 you go like pick your poison, yeah. 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 Back in the days, you had yeah. Facebook, and you used to use it like once a week kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. and it was like a big thing, you know. Yeah. Oh shit, yeah. So yeah. Calm, you know? yeah. <laughs> you, you collect all your messages. Yeah, exactly. and you're like, you're like today I'm gonna unpack. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now it's just you wake up, the first thing goes is and then, yeah, Snapchat, exactly. then email, and it's, it's just casual. And then it me? just drains your energy at the same time. Yeah. Yo, legit, you you up, bed, after like, a week of notifications loading up, yeah. I was like, today's the day I'm going in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I have now, 20 unopened Snapchats. Why are you famous? Do you know what I mean? No, but some of you did not baby. Look, he's like, oh, I got like 20 on your message, you know? I feel one said on the one, my existence matters, you know? I'm not going to end it today, maybe next week, because I'm out. Yeah. Yeah, it's all going to expire soon. The free trial is still there, you know? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, she's getting really dark. She's like, I might end it today, but no. She's getting there now. <laughs>